Dear reader, allow me to introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may therefore have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Without you, there is no story. Chapter one, normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for Hello. Today I'm going to be playing this game called Beacon Pines. Uh, I don't know anything about it, so I guess we'll find out what kind of game it is here in a second. But, um, yeah, you know, apparently I will be this goat kid. Or at least I assume I'm a goat kid. Today is the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. Oh, I see it's a grave. Oh no, it's it's a sad beginning. I was like, where's his dad? I was six years old when you died, and it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone longer than when you were here. Oh man. It feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Dang, the game just starts out all heavy, I guess. Hey, Luca. I knew I'd find you here. Right next to your dad's grave. Luca was Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> Well, I banged on your door till your gran answered, and after I checked the pond, and climbed up to the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. I finally noticed the tears swelling in his friend's eyes, and the flowers on the grave. Here, man, read the room, come on. Oh yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Oh my god, he died on his dad, or his dad died on his birthday? I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone, too. Uh, no! She's not gone. She's just... missing. Sorry, I meant to say since she was missing. She's going to come back, Rolo. Of course she is! Oh man, this kid's got it rough. Okay, Dad, see you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. Oh man, I didn't realize the game would be so sad. I can jump. A little, got a little hop. Can break all the little dandelions. Oh, whoopsie. Pickle, find a charm. You know, I uh, used to live on a farm and goats do actually like jumping around a lot. So I feel like I'm just, Wonderful. you know, role playing properly. I feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold mm. of it for now. Its okay. Its will reveal itself soon enough. I mean, I don't think I can throw it away even if I wanted to, but. Eh, two. Can I go over here? No? Okay. Well, that's fine. I really like the art in this game. Everything, I mean, it looks all hand-drawn, but either way, it's very pretty, so it's nice. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. I love how smug this guy looks whenever he talks. How's that? Look to the side suspiciously. Not here. <laughs> they might be watching. They who? Shh, not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. 
All right, I just have to tell Gran, and then we can head out. Uh, what are you going to tell her? I don't know. I'll think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your Gran still kind of wigs me out. I don't do well with new people. She moved in, like, half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Suit yourself. I won't be long. Tell Gran before heading out with Rollo. Okay. Eh? Oh. Okay. Dear reader, oh, look how for cozy their home looks. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? Yes. More of those it was like 30 seconds ago. Pines. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Mm. Some of them can be found in this very house. Oh. Well, now I gotta explore the whole house. Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful and more covered in flowery fabric. Gran had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly all. I like the narration too. The person, uh, yeah, I mean they just do a good job so far. Ponder. Slides off. That's pretty, One of his pretty nice. Stethoscopes. Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Not for years, though. I guess his dad was a doctor. <laughs> Gotta look in every drawer. Okay. Is this a fridge? Each labeled with the day of the week. Oh, they do meal prep. I am a meal prepping person mm -hmm. myself. A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. Some loose string. Is that common for people to have like random stuff? There's always this drawer in every kitchen, you know? You know which one I'm talking about? It's just the one that has all the junk in it. It's always got string, like, like uh, sewing supplies, you know, and like old batteries that nobody knows if they work. <laughs> uh, another thing too, like you can always tell if a family's like an immigrant family, you know. I feel like this is something that everyone has, right? Like uh, my family too. Like under their sink, there's like the bag that is full of bags, you know, like bags you get at Walmart and all that stuff. That's how you can tell. You just don't want to don't want to throw anything away. You got to make use of all of it. Can I go outside. Oh, oh. This is quite wow. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me. I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. She's very impressed by my ability to open doors. To your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Step forth, dear reader. Oh my god, that's way too much pressure. I suppose there's no reason to rush things. Yeah. Gran will be waiting when you return. That was too much pressure. I couldn't handle it. Plus, I still want to look upstairs. What's in here? Nothing. Luca paused at his parents. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Oh, that's rough. Poor kid. Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Hide. I suppose this is my room. Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. <laughs> Nice. Grand's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Uh, right. Is there anything on my desk? No. Oh, I see her grandma's in Grand's the room. So oh man, I wouldn't want to share a bedroom with my grandma. That's that she had a no fun. Sleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Okay. Well, I guess time to go make a very important decision about something. Or I can just spend some more time poking around. A sturdy old wheelbarrow. 
Ooh. Dang. Young Luca would spend hours hiding in the bushes. She always enjoyed humoring him by feigning terror. That's cute. My dad always does that with my nephew. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Hey, Gran, I'm gonna go hang out with Rolo for the day. See you later. <laughs> Hold up now. Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? Oh, uh, nowhere special. Are we up to some mischief? Uh, we're just, we were just gonna go heart for the day? Oh, I see, I can put it one of my things here. I'm just gonna go hide for the day. Ponder for the day. Chill for the day. I don't actually know what they're doing. Uh, I mean, I would want to chill, but they didn't tell me what they wanted to do. Can Grandma keep up with our chill, our, our, you know, young lingo? You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. Oh, I like that the sweater changed in the drawing, too, I just realized. Well, make sure you are done chilling in time for supper. Easy, she says. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charm. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. The Chronicle. B. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Oh, Luckily so is this like a choose your own adventure? The only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. Okay. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. The grand jury. That's cute. Oh, I see. So I can change my response. Well, what happens if I say hide? We were just gonna go hide for the day. We were just gonna go hide for the day. Hide. Traditionally, when one is trying to hide something, they avoid literally using the word hide. Yeah, I guess Rolo bet some other kids that we could beat them at hide and seek. Aren't you a little old for that? It's not like there's much else to do around here. Well, make sure your boys are done playing your little game in time for supper. <laughs> she like shoes me away with her cane. Wait, so uh, I kind of want my chill charm back, though. Or no, oh, I can still use it. It doesn't look like it was taken away. Okay. Oh, God, what have I done? Oh, and Luca. You and Rolo stay out of trouble. I know, I know. Get into trouble with Rolo. Dang. Just lied to our grandma's face. Oh, he's so excited. Woo! Dang it, Rolo. What if I don't go the way Rolo's going? Leading to Beacon Pines was a sort of natural barrier for the imp I see. You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover our secret path. He's just like walking backwards into it. <laughs> Okay. Welcome to Beacon Pine. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prop until the foul harvest and his sudden death. Dang. In the six years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. Why would, uh... Wow. Looks rough. Hello. Are you the mayor or something? You look like you'd be the mayor type of folk. Sorry, young Mr. Van Horn. Can't talk now. Very busy with preparations. Mayor Augustus Valentine was not busy. Yeah, definitely scream. He's got the mayor vibes. Oh, sorry, Gus. How many times do I? It's Mayor Valen. Valen? 
Flustered, Gus instinctively loosened his tie. Keep up the good work. I must briefly attend to a concerned citizen. Huh? It's nothing. Keep at it. All right. What can the mayor of Beacon Pines do for you today? He definitely looks like he's a little depressed. <laughs> oh, uh, just saying hi, I guess. Hmm, well, good day to you too, young Mr. Van Horn. Dang. What about you? Is this like a fox guy? No. What about you? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like it. Hey, Mr. Care. Hi there, pal. William Kerr was the CEO of Perennial Harvest Oh, Company. God. He had become a fixture around town over the past few years. After the failing of Valentine Fertilizer, the town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. Excited for the big festival? Oh my, his disturbing smile. Come on now, when I was your age, there was nothing more exciting than a town festival. The food, the music, the dancing. Sounds pretty alright. You're gosh dang right it is. I'm looking forward to letting off some steam myself. Make sure to invite all your little friends. I couldn't keep Rolo away if I tried. Excellent. Sorry, Luca. I've got to get back to the proverbial grindstone. Our harvest awaits and all that. Oh, no. The left side's a little low. I don't like him. He's got a disturbing smile. No. He's just asleep. Mr. Sinclair continued snoring and lifted one eyelid just enough to see who it was. A tactic he often used to avoid undesirable conversation. <laughs> yoo hoo Gee, I'm sleeping, boy. How's the napping today? Crummy as always. Used to have a perfectly nice view from here. That perennial harvest put that monstrosity of a building in a way. Why don't you just move your chair a bit? Why should I be the one that moves? It's a showdown they want. I ain't gonna be the one who blinks. Yeah, you show them. Can I go in his house? Guess not. Come on, Andy, grab his wallet. I'm sorry, Iggy, I can't. Do it or we pound ya. Yep, oh god. This poor little bunny is gonna get destroyed by this rhino girl. If I had a nickel for every yeah, but... I'd be the freaking king of nickels. That right, Tish. Yup. Wow, these little kids are a bad influence on that small bunny child. <laughs> Mr. Van Horn, do you have a moment? It's just Luca. Golly, I'm sorry. It's my first week at Perennial Harvest. He a from the pocket of his sweater vest and began to frantically jot something down on a clipboard. Wonderful, it won't happen again. If we are going to be on a first-name basis, then you can call me Pete. Oh, nice to meet you, Pete. Sorry, what are you writing? Oh, just documenting. Gosh, it's exciting to be part of something that's so darn special. You know, it's not just about new fountains and phone booths. We're gonna change the world. And it all starts here, in Beacon Pines. Isn't that amazing? Uh-huh. Anyway, I better get... Oh, that reminds me. We'd love to hear your thoughts. My thoughts? You bet. If we're going to change this town, we need to get every detail right. That sounds intense. <laughs> Changing the world is intense. So what do you say? Could you answer a few questions? Well, I guess if it's quick. Wonderful. Open to answering a few quick questions. One down. See, it's not that hard, is it? Okay. Uh, we're going already. Question two. What is something you love about Beacon Pines? Uh, I've never really thought about it before. Perfect. It's the only place I've lived. See, that wasn't so painful. And glanced up from the clipboard. Was it? Uh, I guess not. Huzzah! Our first three questions answered in record time. Are you literally writing down everything? Thank you so much for your time. I need to process these answers. We can save the rest of your thoughts for later. Okay. Harvest awaits. 
Yeah, okay. Fine. I always have a problem with games like this that let you walk around because I always want to go look at everything else like before I go ugh, before I go where I'm supposed to, you know? So, yeah. Little little puppy over here. Hey Judson. Is the line playing any tunes today? No bites this morning, I'm afraid. Come to think of it, I can't remember the last time I reeled one in. But hey, it was never about to catch. This is where I come to think. Yeah, that's what my dad used to do here. That reminds me. If you ever want his chair back, I've taken to standing recently. Keeps me from falling asleep at the reel. If you don't mind, I think it should stay. Not at all. An empty chair makes for a great listener. Oh no. Whenever Luca saw his dad's chair by the pond, it reminded him of the days they'd pack up a couple of sandwiches and fish until sun. That's sweet. Go pick out your bait from the tackle box, buckaroo. Luca opened the tackle box and picked the perfect bait. Tickle? Junk. Tickle? What? Luca gently baited a feather onto the hook, oh. before skimming the surface. Let's do it. Oh! Did I get it? Aww. Oh. Don't know my own strength. I guess I pulled too hard. Let's try some junk. A shoestring to the hook. What fish could resist a nice shoestring? <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work. Let's give it a shot. I think if I pull too hard, it'll snap. So gotta gotta let the fish think it's winning every couple seconds, you know. Nice. I got a boot. What do you think the other one is? That's not fair. No, it's not. Well, wherever it is, I hope that the other boot at least has a sock to keep it as company. All right, let's uh, let's just use the feather this time. Luca gently baited a feather for skimming the surface. Maybe this time it'll be a fish. A rubber ducky. Is this just where people... Also, shouldn't that be floating? Is this just where people come to throw all their junk? Oh, it's my old rubber ducky. That's cute. Oh. I told you it would turn up. Yeah, he wasn't wrong. Find some more. Here. Go where? Am I supposed to go this way? Ah, I see. That was cute. The boys had a good thing going. As long as they kept old Jeff happy, they had an endless source of precious materials to add to the treehouse. Our ill-gotten gains. Ooh, After a rocket. His father had passed. Ow. Rollo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Star Scraper. It was some time before Luca realized it was Rollo's way of keeping him occupied. Oh, that's sweet that his friend was, like, worried about him, though. On certain nights, when the clouds were just right, the boys could tune into strange patterns of stuff. Rollo thinks it's aliens. <laughs> he always thinks it's aliens. Maybe he's right. Luca's winter coat decommissioned for the summer. With the cold holding out longer than usual, he reconsidered its usefulness. Oh, whoa, I did not mean to come out here. Luca looked up at the satellite dish. Rollo nearly killed himself putting that up into the tree. Oh. While it didn't turn the radio into an interstellar communicator, as he'd hoped, it did at least boost the signal enough to overhear truckers one town over. <laughs> okay, what's this top secret plan to start our summer? So you know the abandoned warehouse by my place? The old Valentine building? Yeah, well, it isn't abandoned. 
What makes you think that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing. Glowing? Are you sure? Kinda. That place has been empty since... Since the foul harvest. Yeah. Who would even want to poke around that place? We would, Rollo. We would. Wait, 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 wait. It's just a busted old warehouse. I mean, we could just do some research at the library. You want to actually go to the warehouse? What do you expect to find? Answers. My mom's out there somewhere. And it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. You don't have to come, Rollo, if you don't want to. Luca, remember that time I sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop? And you jumped in and said it was your fault before my paw throttled me? This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. I've got your back. Thanks, Rollo. Now that I think about it, poking around a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I want to spend the first day of summer. Oh boy. Uh, I guess probably this way. Yeah, there he is. All out of breath. <laughs> I'm just catching my breath a bit. Go on, I'll catch up. Man, he must have sprinted over here. Oh, more buildings to look inside of. Luca could see the morning regulars nestled in their booths at the early bean. The early bean. Hey, Miss Nelson. Morning, Luca. Any big plans for the summer? Not really. Heard anything about the old fertilizer warehouse? Any strange happenings? Can't say I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy. You be safe now. Um, Piper? Hey, Luca, what's up? You know it's summer break, right? Of course! And it's like, the morning. Correct! And you're studying? Like they say, the early bird gets the proper education required for a successful and fulfilling career later in life. Mm-hmm. I've definitely heard that one before. Hey, Zariel. It's Ariel. Hi, Luca. Could you please tell this lazy butt to help out in the cafe? Um, Lumi, Zariel, would you like to... Luca, let me give you a little gem of advice. If you never do what you don't love, then you'll never work a day in your life. Wow. You're really setting up the kid for success. I mean, she's not wrong, but definitely not good advice to be giving an elementary schooler, probably. The catch could often be found near the fountain. Too absorbed in a book to be distracted. The two wandered down the wooded path, unaware of the danger ahead. Oh. Oh, this is getting good. Could this be some foreshadowing? Holden Wilder ran the local paper of record. The Beacon Beacon. The Beacon Beacon? Morning, Luca. What's the day have in store for you? I was wondering if you heard any news about... News? The Beacon Beacon knows the news that needs no one! Any news about the fertilizer warehouse? Nope. Oh. Rolo thought he saw some lights there last night. Hmm. Rolo ought to be careful poking around that part of town. The winds of change are blowing. And change is a dangerous animal. Change. We can't go in there. Doo -doo. Luca, just the fella I was looking for. Hey, Roxy, what's up? Oh, right. Rendezvous with Roxy. This is an important turning point. Look how nice the characters look. They just have like such nice the colors. Where your charms will change the course of fate. So much detail. And currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. Have oh no. We can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. Well, now I'm just rambling. Hmm. Have you seen my blockhead brother today? Oh, is she the sister of Rolo? He skipped out before breakfast. Well, not really, no. Can't say I have. Can't say or won't say. Roxy, would I lie to you? There he goes. Luca, wait up. I almost forgot to tell you. Roxy might be lurking around here. Whoopsie. This is one of her favorite places to stand around and be useless. Rolo. So we need to make sure she doesn't spot us. Rolo. Oh boy. 
What are you doing turning that turning thing with your body? Well, you're not scared, are you? She's harmless. And a chump. And she's right around that corner, isn't she? Yep. Well, mission accomplished. Don't mind me, just over here lurking. Uselessly. Oh, hey, sis. Nice weather we're having, eh? I couldn't help but notice you snuck out this morning before breakfast. I wasn't hungry. Also, couldn't help but notice your morning chores were left unchored. Roxy, I'm gonna level with you. I'm sick and tired of digging up carrots. We all gotta pick up the slack since the foul harvest. Almost every carrot I dig up is rotten. And the rest look like they were hit with Hank Atomic shrink ray All the more reason to keep on digging. There's got to be more to life than puny carrots. Look, Roxy, Luca and I have places to be, so if you don't mind... Oh, I do mind. I'm not going to catch hell again because of you. So either you march yourself home and harvest those carrots, or I haul you home myself. Rollo froze as Roxy took a step toward him. Cracking her knuckles. Uh oh. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. In the past, he found the best way to deal with Ro with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. Come on, Roxy. It's the first day of summer. The sun's shining, and we just want to take it easy. Let's leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. That's great and all, but Rolo's problems have a way of becoming my problems. And Pa always says, tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March, you big oaf. Aw, oh, rats. I expect a full report about the Valentine place. The full report! Dang, I guess I'm on my own now. So, Fitz. What are you up to this lovely day? Nope. Cool, cool, cool. Dang. Sharper Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Never underestimate what a great man can do given time. Sharper Valentine. A bit much, if you ask me. Indulgent. Yes. Hey, Solomon. Apologies, no time for chit-chat. A library? What about this building? Jeff's hardware closed down about a year ago. Dang. The of the foul harvest stretched wide. When there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing. Unfortunate. Luca, my boy. Hold up a tick. Oh, hey, Mr. Nut Nuncreed. I was just on my way to... I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. Can't stock the shelves fast enough, turns out. Hey, that's great, but I'm actually... I guess Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. Uh-huh. Well, don't let this old man slow you down. You just remind her that she still owes me that dance. A promise Gran regretted the second it was made. Will do. She's a fine woman, that Juniper. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. Uh, gotta go. Sweeter than any jam on her. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like talking to like a, what am I, like a, like a elementary schooler or something? The booth was brand new. Part of Perennial Harvest's Beacon Pines Reborn initiative. It didn't see much use. It did not see much use, huh? Hello. Oh, hey, Luca. Hey, Joey. How's the bug hunt going? Not great. Bugs have been shy this week. Bugs get shy? Oh, sure. Bugs aren't that different from people. Sometimes they just want to be left alone. If you're going into weep wood, just be careful where you step. No bug crunching. Got it. Oh, I was hoping I could collect those mushrooms. Luca peeked up at the beehive. It appeared to be deserted. Oh, man. It brings back memories. I have bees in my backyard, and they uh, they decided to go find another hive, so it's also empty. The Valentines shuttered off their estate from the rest of town. Dang. The Valentine Mansion loomed over every other building in town, both figuratively and literally. Hmm. 
Dang. What is this? I can't go in here? It's, okay. I guess I will leave. <laughs> I love how much gusto he puts into his little hops. The path led into a small hollow at the edge of Weepwood. Okay, no turning back now. Caution, electrified fence. Is this sign new? The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Okay, so what would Rollo do if he was here? He asked himself what Rollo would do, so that he could rule out that option. <laughs> I'm definitely not touching that thing. Oh! As sparks flew from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. Good thing this electric fence was not designed to fight off attacks from mushrooms. One more to go. How could they have foreseen such them? How could they have foreseen something like this? I can throw a can at it too. Throw the can. The fence's buzzing gave way. Okay, moment of truth. Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Okay, so Rolo wasn't exaggerating for once. What's going on here? One way to find out. I don't know, I feel like if you see trees that are all like mutated and melting like this, you probably don't want to be here. Wow, that smells awful. Too bad Rolla's not here. He'd have no problem poking around in there. Oh, I see. Like, if I had Rollo, he would go inside there to look. And that probably keeps me from, like, I don't know, getting myself killed or something. Locked. He heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper? Footsteps? Footsteps grew louder. Uh, maybe I should hide? Hello? Dot dot dot. Monsters Inc. Number 29. Shit. I got the shit badge. The heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He oh. tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Oh he no. His fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door into the lab, into the green light. This is a story about change. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? The end? I probably should have warned you about this. The Dang. Bad ending. Take. Most will end in tragedy. But don't let that discourage you. What? This is a horror game? You will find the ending that the story deserves. I just, from here on out, a charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Now, let's try something different. <laughs> Okay, I guess I don't want to go back there. Oh, in the past. Oh, okay. I can give her the shit I found. In the past, Just to be a little shit. To deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. <laughs> Make a break for it! What have you done? Ah! Wait, did I throw something at her? Did that little shit just kick me? Run all you want, you little twerps. You gotta come home eventually. That's funny. Sorry! Dang, that kid runs fast. Let him go. Do you have something different to say now? Sorry about that. Rollo can get overexcited sometimes. Oh, he's one of the rich people. future successor to the Valentine Fortune huffed as he brushed off his pants. A town of complete and utter fools. One wonders if there's worth if it's worth taking anything here seriously. 
Either way, I'm really sorry. No matter. How are you doing? Me? Yes, with all that business about your mother and whatnot. Oh, I'm getting by. Still no word from her at all. No. That's truly a shame. Shame. Your grandmother has been taken has taken residence to keep house? Yeah. And how's that going? We mostly stay out of each other's way. You make it sound like she's rarely at home. It's not like that. She just has a lot to do. Hmm. She's still settling in and trying to figure out how to make ends meet. Indeed. Well, count your blessings. It's better to have a caretaker who is rarely around in lieu of one who tries to compensate by smothering you with attention. That doesn't sound so bad. Trust me when I say it's best to rely on yourself. Family has a way of creating more problems than they solve. Wow, that guy's a little disillusioned with his family, I would say. Solomon. A gesture toward the approaching heiress, Valentine. Speak of the devil. Do not wander off like that. I'm much too busy to be looking all over for you. Apologies, heiress. I was just taking a stroll through town. Strolls off a commoners. You're a Valentine now. I want you to be present for the construction of the History Museum. The future of this town relies on its ability to remember our family's great past. Of course. Well, that's not a very nice person, I guess. Luca, my boy. Okay. Good. I'm not going to have to listen to him fawn over her grandma. Over his grandma. <laughs> he just passed out. I win! Little help. I am the champion. We were racing. Did that road get longer? Like anything around ever like anything ever changes around here. It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. You really need to pace yourself better next time. I'm not sure why I would take advice from a second place. Has this sign always been there? Wait, what? Caution. Electrified fence. No, that's definitely new. Creepy. How are we going to get around an electric fence? Don't worry. I've got this. And he's dead. Why did you do that? I always says you could figure out what the plan was when you're done. Great. What now? Well, I did my part and established that touching the fence is bad. I'm sure you can handle it from here. I'll supervise. I see the manager type from a safe distance. Whoa, you're a genius. I think that did it. Luca, you never fail to impress. All right. As the so. windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rolo began to bounce excitedly. Check it out. Dang, Rolo, you weren't exaggerating for once. Was there any, was there ever any doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing the two ace detectives are on the case. This is bizarre. This is awesome. Rumble. Did you feel that? What, the excitement in the air? You bet your butt I did. Check out this puddle. Wow, that's not normal. And this hose. Oh man, the door's locked. Try harder. No dice. It won't budge. Oh well. This dumpster is new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. I can't really see what's in here. Who did all of this? My nose is itching. I think it smells some treasure. Are you sure that isn't the hazardous waste? Just help me get in. Rollo. It would be my honor to throw you in the trash. Come on, Lady Luck. So, what's in there? Let's see. There's a squishy bag of... Squish? Wow. A good inch of stagnant sludge. Your natural habitat. Wait. Hold the phone. Hold two phones. Check these bad boys out. 
Are those walkie-talkies? Just like Hank Atomic Communicators. Do these actually work? Ground command to Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This is Hank Atomic Ground Command. You're coming in five by five. How, um, how are your vital readouts, Hank? It's getting a little stuffy in here. Requesting assistance for evac. Help is on the way. What was that? Someone's coming. Give me your hand. I'm trying. My hands are covered in squish. Scoot over. I'm coming in. Dang. That guy's huge compared to my characters. <laughs> uh, tell me you saw that. Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down. You know, if that guy's wearing a hazmat suit to touch this stuff, it's probably not a good sign that we're, like, in the trash can sitting in it. Oh, God. Tell me that's not what I think it is. Luca, do you know what separate run-of-the-mill detectives from Ace Detectives? A ridiculous hat? When the chips are down, Ace Detectives dig deeper for clues. Aha! It's some sort of badge or something? What's it say? Dr. Prescott, Deep Engineering. It's a name tag? Who would throw away a bag full of slimy old name tags? I think it's just one name tag in a bag full of something else. Okay, okay, okay. I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm. This is no time to panic. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Rolo, calm down. You don't have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude, I'm not holding your hand. Quit messing around. What other slime-covered hand would be in here? Ah! Ah! Dang. Well, that guy's super dead. Oh, it's twitching. I'm beginning to see the benefits of your run for our lives plan. Right, we've clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? Fleming chicken coop, Luca. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go, count to 100. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run. Actually, either way, haul ass. Rolo, I'll give you credit. You sure found an eventful way to start our summer. It's what I do. Well, here goes nothing. Luca sat in the dark, tracking the sound of Rolo's footsteps as he ran. One, two, three... He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rollo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen? Sixteen? Seventeen? He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. Thirty-five? Thirty-six? Thirty-seven? The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Screw it, that's long enough! Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rollo. No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass! Time to haul ass. Stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Deacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. It's because of all the toxic waste. Storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Chapter Ew. 3. He's all dirty. Don't get in your bed Finding like that. Friend. The next morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Only the sound of silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. I finished jarring a mess of jam last night. Uh-huh. So that will need to get delivered into town today. Okay. So, what did you and Rolo get up to yesterday? Oh, nothing interesting. Hello? Indistinct conversation. Calm down. No, of course it was the right thing to do. Start gathering, folks. I'll be right there. Are you sure there isn't anything you want to tell me about yesterday? Anything I want to tell you? 
Not really. We sort of ran around a bit. Brow furrowed. She let out a long She's sigh. not buying it. Her voice. I have to go take care of something. You are to stay in this house for the day. Under no circumstance are you to leave. What? If I am not back by dinner, the stew in the icebox. But, but nothing. You ought to stay here. Understand? Yeah. Say it. I'll stay here till you get back. Good. Oh, and Luca? You left the icebox open yesterday. We're not made of money, you know. Born in a barn. Well, that was strange. Oh, I see. <laughs> I was supposed to close it. That's cute. God, Luca, don't you know? Oh, I guess if I left the water running, then that probably would have been another thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, she said not to leave the house. Does this count as leaving the house? No? Hmm. I mean, I'm obviously going to leave, but... Uh... Let's go see if there's anything else to look at here. A faint electronic sound floated in the air. Is that coming from upstairs? Oh yes, I want to hear the sound again. Oh yes, that's exactly what it sounded like. I remember, you know, when you're little and you slide off the couch. It's like making that sound. Hello? Is anyone there? Hmm. Oh, it's the radio. Hello? Rollo, is that you? Over? Strange. Luca glanced at the now silent walkie talkie. He wasn't sure what to think. That was, uh, something. Am I gonna open the door? I guess no one ever taught me about stranger danger. Oh, okay, it's Roxy. Hey, Roxy. If this is about me, uh, accidentally kicking you yesterday, is Rollo here? No. Look at me, Luca. This is serious. Is Rolo here? No, I haven't seen him since yesterday. Rolo didn't come home last night. What? A pit formed in Luca's stomach. Where was the last place you saw him? Uh, we were playing around in Weep Wood, and then it was late and we went home. Weep Wood? If he's alive, I'm gonna kill that little creep. Is there anything else? Anything that he said? His mouth felt dry. No, we were just messing around. Okay. I need to go let people know to check the woods. You stay out of trouble. Go see if he's hiding in the library or something. Luca could feel his heart beating in his throat. Rollo. Where are you? Check the library for Rollo. Okay. Well, I think that is enough for me for today, but... Oh. That one has a question mark. Interesting. I guess that means there's more to do with it. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I think I'm done for the day. This is a cool game, though. I really like the way it looks. It's very pretty. Uh, I did not know anything about it, but apparently it's, I guess, like some kind of choose-your-own-adventure horror game or something like that. Um, but I'll probably keep playing it. It's pretty interesting and uh you know i gotta find out what happened to rollo my bro can't just leave him hanging so uh yep thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and all that and yeah have a nice rest of your day bye